Meat Boy is back and today we are making Salisbury steak. Idea courtesy of one of my lovely viewers and I actually wasn't so sure what this was but I definitely had it as a kid in some type of TV dinner. I, I remember, I mean that was, that was you know, 20, 25 years ago now. I haven't had them in ages. And it's basically ground meat, kind of like a meatball mixture and then you put grill marks on it to make it look like a steak and then you're supposed to make like a mushroom gravy for it. So it's basically like a glorified meatball of some type just with different seasoning. And if you guys have ideas for other recipes, just let me know down in the comments below. I have plenty of ideas myself, but the recipes are complicated. I've been kind of lazy lately. Anyway, let's take a look at what ingredients we need. As usual guys, everything here is pretty high quality, grass fed, organic, the best stuff that most people have access to. But keep in mind, this is not a classic, classic Salisbury steak recipe because of that. I've substituted different ingredients for various reasons based on my understanding of nutrition. And for the steak, we have some ground ribeye from Frankie's Strange Meat. I figured, hey, if we're making Salisbury steaks with ground meat, might as well use ground steak. What's going to go in our sauce gravy is some mushrooms, beef broth, and flour, nothing too crazy, along with some onion and garlic that's also going to go into the meat mixture. And this is what else is in there. So we have the seasoning, salt and pepper, some mustard, coconut aminos, fish sauce, and organic breadcrumbs. So we're basically gonna blend up the onion and garlic, mix that into the mixture, and put the rest of that in the gravy. So it's a pretty quick and easy recipe that you're gonna get a lot of flavor out of. The only prep that really needs to be done here is peel the onion and garlic. So in the food processor, we're gonna put one whole onion, three cloves of garlic, and a pinch of salt. Since we're putting a little bit of beef broth in the mixture as well, it makes some sense to put this in here just so it blends up easier. So we're gonna do half a cup of beef broth. So it's really just an onion and garlic puree so you don't have to dice it up yourself. So we're gonna do two pounds of ground beef. This ribeye has a lot more fat than I thought it would, so maybe I would have gone with the, um, the ground tenderloin instead. So to that we add half a cup of breadcrumbs. These are just the organic ones I got at Whole Foods. Not the best ingredient list. Half of our onion garlic puree. Then we want one tablespoon of the coconut aminos one teaspoon of fish sauce, one teaspoon of mustard, pinch of salt, a few cracks of black pepper, and a little more of the beef broth. And then we just mix this together. After everything's incorporated, we're just gonna roll it into a ball. So we just have our pan on a medium high heat. And since these are so fatty, I'm actually not gonna put any oil in the pan. And what I'm gonna do is press this down Apparently you're supposed to put grill marks, but it's, it's really just for the aesthetic. So I'm gonna use like this part of the knife. So we got some makeshift grill marks. I don't really know how well you can see them. I'm assuming like in the factory with the TV dinners, they have some type of like chemical that they put on there to make it different colored. And you just wanna be careful and make sure that these aren't burning because the sugar in the coconut aminos will make this caramelize very, very quickly. I mean, I guess that looks okay. It's like reverse grill marks. I guess what you could do is you could indent the other way around, but since I don't want these to burn in this pan, what we're going to do is put them on a plate and finish them in the oven. Put our oven on 300. The ceramic plate should be fine. And we'll put these in here. While our steaks are finishing in the oven, we can make the gravy. So we have the rest of the onion and garlic puree. 150 grams of sliced shiitake mushrooms, about a third of a pound. So you can use more or less depending on your budget. And this is gonna be with two cups of beef broth that we will have to reduce over the course of 10, 15 minutes. So we're gonna season the gravy with a pinch of salt, a few cracks of black pepper, a tablespoon of coconut aminos, and a teaspoon of fish sauce, same as the beef mixture. So we'll let this go for about five minutes and then we can start incorporating the flour to thicken it up. So our sauce has reduced to about one third. The mushrooms, onions, garlic were all cooked. Now we're gonna put in some flour and you just wanna make sure you kinda sift it in just so you don't get any clumps. So we put in about two tablespoons of flour. Now we just wanna cook out that raw flour flavor. And it looks like we can actually add a little more beef broth here because this has reduced too much. 
Now, if you have the chicken stock and collagen broth from Frankie's Free Range Foods, uh, you can actually use both of those, and I think that would be a much tastier and higher quality option here. <laughs> the reason I don't have them is because we sold them all, so hopefully next week we have uh, both of those back in stock. That looks good. We have a nice thick mushroom gravy. So our Salisbury steaks have been finishing in the oven for about 15 minutes. Now we're going to top them with our gravy. I mean, not the most appetizing looking thing, but definitely more appetizing than the TV dinner version. Most of you guys that are following my channel know that in order to have a healthy diet, optimal amount of B vitamins and animal protein, you really have to eat red meat every single day. And this is an excellent way to get some variety in there. You know, you're tired of meatballs. You don't want regular ground beef. Uh, steak isn't as easy to digest. So I guess from that perspective, if you have something that's ground replicating steak, not only is it a little more affordable, it's also, you know, more satiating and it'll go through your stomach easier. The mushroom gravy is, you know, just a classic take on most of these steak sauces with higher quality ingredients. And it's also pretty high in B vitamins and a decent amount of minerals. Uh, granted, you are using those quality ingredients. So let's give this a shot. You know, it actually smells a little bit like the TV dinner version. Packed full of so much flavor. Doesn't taste like a meatball. The gravy is amazing. Even though we didn't, you know, caramelize the mushrooms, caramelize the onions, we didn't spend that incredible of time cooking this, maybe 15 minutes altogether. Uh, the layer of flavors that are developed are really, really good. This is very tasty, very approachable, not beefy at all. If you have kids or a picky eater or someone that doesn't like steak, this is excellent, excellent, excellent. So I'm gonna you know, enjoy this with my rice and cauliflower and sit down, but I really encourage you guys to try this out. So you guys know the ground ribeye is available on Frankie's syringe meat. We also have ground New York strip steak, filet mignon tenderloin, as well as some ground chuck, which is more affordable, and then just the regular grinds, which are even lower priced. You guys can check that out at frankiesfreerangemeat.com. We also have some salt on there, tallow if you wanna cook with it, and the broth should be available on Frankie's Free Range Foods relatively soon. So if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, guys, please check out frank-chiffon.com where you can support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again for joining, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.